about it today about a little bit about hair care products and why it's just not good to use any type of hair product that has alcohol in it. Most most of the products on shelves have, um, you know, alcohol in it. So I have rice water and coconut oil, olive oil, and, you know, essential oils like peppermint oil, jojoba oil, those type of things are better for your hair because the natural oils that you get derived from plants and fruits, even grapefruit is better. I put grapefruit on my face, I put it in my hair, and I just recently started doing that on my face because there's a big old bump right here, like, oh my gosh. So hopefully it takes it away. But if you use products with alcohol in your hair, it's killing your hair. Alcohol does what? It kills germs. It's gonna kill your hair. So it's gonna kill that growth. So if you do the rice challenge and use those those alcohol-based products, your hair is not gonna hardly grow. You can be like, what's wrong happens to my hair? You use the alcohol-based product. The rice water is supposed to be the shampoo. It's called the shampoo on your hair, and it's very, very effective. If you use the eggs and the rice water together, that can kind of cancel each other out. It's called the protein overload, so I did that too, so I know. So, you know, I just followed the challenge, like, the, um, the, the, the uh, Anglo Women Village does is very key to it. Even though pomelo is not very popular in the United States of America, so best use a great food instead. And um, you'll see from the phenomenal results. Um, check out my videos as you go along. I'm going to do the rice water challenge the whole time. And, you know, my hands kind of shrink. And it was like this big. And I got the braids and it got that big um, in certain areas. And I kept using the argan oil. That helps, too. That's, that's real good, too. But try to use argan oil with no alcohol in it. And, you know, you see phenomenal results that like that, too. But... Uh, and the braids can be too tight. So protective styling is very key. Right now, you see my hair is... Um, I keep it incubated right now and you know trying to put something on my hat is on top of it and I'm just taking it away from you know my routine and everything like that so doing that and that will help you definitely so stay away from those alcohol based products out there the, the brand new ones mostly are made of alcohol it's called sterile alcohol a lot of them have probably glycol in them and um, that's really bad for your hair the castor oil is also good for your hair too I heard um, I'll try it out and see after my rest water challenge but I don't know how to get I think I want it like right here right now it's right here so it needs to grow. It's about that much growth. <laughs> so hopefully it's been uh, about a month or so. And I've been doing it off and on, not every single day. So now I'm starting to do it. I'll do it for a month. But it has been over a month since I use it intermittently. Like every other week or something like that. Or once a week. I do it once a week. And I use the egg too. I say cancer dot cause of protein overload. But now I'm doing it... Um, um, my hair goes about right here, and it was originally like right here. I'll show you pictures like right here. It wouldn't go nowhere. So now it's you know very elastic. The rice water does make your hair very um, strengthened. And I had no um, what's it called hair loss. I've had no hair loss, no shedding of the hair. But if you use the alcohol-based products, propylene glycol, um, all that stuff, your hair is not going to hardly grow. You got to use the oil products and use grapefruit fruit products. No, somebody said, I'm about to start stacking on my hair. Yes, you need to use fruit products and oil if you want your hair to really grow. Stop using all those new products. They're not going to help your hair grow. You're going to have stale made it hair. It's going to keep on killing your hair. It's really killing your hair, and you don't realize it. For me, as I've had long hair, and then I got kind of stressed out, put my hair out, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, beginning again, I realized that um, I was killing my hair because I put the stuff on again and nothing was happening to my hair. I'm like, after I did the rice water, so it's counseling out the rice water, it was doing, killing my protein. The alcohol was literally killing the protein, is what it does, it kills the protein. So I realized to stop using the other products and now my hair, you know, like I said, from, from here to here. And, 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 you know, pain and sweat and tears, like, oh God, what's wrong with my hair? Oh my God, oh, there we go. So right now I'm doing the rice water challenge for three to four days. And then um, I'm doing a new video on Saturday, I mean Sunday. And I'm bracing rice water in it again. And right now, after the rice water, I put the coconut or olive oil and grapefruit into my hair. And I massaged it. And it's still wet for 24 hours. This is a, this is another 24 hours. And it's still wet right now. So you have to make sure your hair is full of moisture. This is what the um, Chinese women did. And they keep their hair uh, moisturized inside the little bun. And I saw the video on it. And they keep it inside the bun. And it's always basically moisturized the whole time. It's basically wet. They don't put they don't put nothing on their hair but the rice water. They rinse it out. That's it. But it's, it's it has a you know it, it retains moisture. As long as your hair is wrapped up in something, it retains moisture. And the key to it is moisture. If you have to grow, you have to have it moisturized. If it gets dry, it's gonna get brittle. Keep it moisturized. The whole rice water challenge. Keep your hair moisturized. It will grow, guaranteed. Do not do it every day, or you have protein overload. You're gonna be like, what? Why my hair not growing? Protein overload.
and it's gonna be like it's gonna grow very slowly or not at all so keep that in mind okay it's, it's protein here don't combine the egg with the rice either do the egg or the rice the egg olive oil coconut oil will help but an egg is very strong protein you might want to do it once a week or once every two weeks versus every uh three to four days but the protein is needed in your hair it's needed just don't combine the protein with the alcohol based products uh, again or it will alcohol based products will kill the protein treatment and therefore you have done it for nothing and that's what's happening to a lot of people's hairs and a lot of people don't tell you that um braids if you braid your hair up and do those protein treatments like once a week or something like that um, your hair will grow. You get, I see a lot of people with those long um, dreadlocks. I'm like, gosh, she got really long hair. And she's like, I don't put anything on it but oil or like a lotion or something like that on my hair. That's it. Yeah, if you do something like that, your hair is going to grow. But, all right. I'll check you later. I hope to have my hair all the way down my back too, right? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm the dark Christian. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Love you.